Hi everyone, welcome to Rakhi's Tarot Table. I know I'm late again. Uh, but yeah, today I am going to do pick a card reading on the year ahead, 2022. So I will see what all messages we can get uh, for 2022, how 2022 will be for you guys and um, how, is how is it going to be for your health, for your love, for your career and um, yeah so I think we should just uh, get ahead with that. There are three piles which I'll show you in a moment. So these are the three piles. Pile one is orange, pile two is turquoise, aqua and pile three is uh, blue. You can either choose by the colors or by whatever is made on them or you can just choose by pile one, pile two or pile three whatever number resonates with you. See you in your reading. So for pile one those of you have chosen this um, this card. These are actually um, I bought um, inspirational cards um, from a store so um, these are these are like my inspiration cards I use them every day I just pull a random card and it resonates somehow with me with, with my day so pile one let's see what have we got for you okay it says be the bus driver give the negative voice inside your head a personality imagine what they are wearing and the color of the hair imagine their name voice and personality imagine yourself as the bus driver now tell that person to get off your bus. Such a beautiful message. Here, if you want to have a look. So that's for you. I'm feeling for some of you, you guys are being really thinking, um, not being really positive, I should say, not being really positive. And um, it is giving you stress. Is it giving, it, it is giving you uh, anxiety. It's giving you depression sleepless nights I would say so what the card suggests is just you know imagine that all these emotions have have a name have a voice have a face you know and imagine them wearing clothes and imagine yourself as a bus driver and just take them off your bus so just part ways from all of these negative emotions I know it's very easy to say but hard to do um, but that's the way it is okay now we'll get into your tarot reading Okay, so we have a lot of cups here. Let me just get, you know, take it inside and... Okay, so as I said, like for some of you, you have been really um, um, like not very positive. Queen of Cups indicates that as well for me, that this queen has got everything. Oh, yes, so this Oh, again okay so this queen has got everything but she's still looking at this cup in her hand yes there you go so this queen has everything she's a queen you know so she's got almost everything in her life but she's still looking at this cup so there is something that is bothering you guys or there is some there's one particular thing that you guys are thinking about and I think this uh, is giving you a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety then the next card we have is wheel of fortune so wheel of fortune is uh, number 10 if you can see wheel of fortune is number 10 and number 10 represents um, transformation so i am feeling that for some of you if you stop being negative you know and try to think as positive as you can there will be a transformation in your life and that that transformation will actually bring new opportunities for you 
new opportunities for you in love for some of you i'm getting this is related to love love life relationships so if you if you stop over um analyzing the situation or stop um uh, you know over stressing on that situation there will be new opportunities for you here in love you know there will be happy news and you will be getting emotional proposals and if for some of you if you guys are trying to get pregnant you will actually get pregnant in the next year queen of cup is a uh, there is a child here there's a child here and ace of cups is also a card of uh, pregnancy so maybe for some of you this is what is um, going on in your mind this is what you've been thinking about you've been thinking about pregnancy for some of you some of you might be thinking about relationships some of you might be thinking about career again whatever you are thinking about whatever the situation in your life is as you turn the perspective you know as you as you try to see good things as you try to see positivity in everything your life will change there will be a transformation in your life and then there is a cup uh, card of two of wands so there is something for some of you you guys are um thinking about something like you know you're not able to uh, make a stable decision and there are choices that you need to decide between but you're not able to decide between but guess what if you once you make this decision once you make the choice your life will be um better you know and there then there is a card of temperance temperance is harmonious relationship you know harmony in relationship um, love in relationship but it also talks about being patient so for some of you i'm feeling that um with this decision that you need to take you will need patience as well so if i'm i'm feeling i'm getting this like if you are uh, thinking of uh, um say um you know if you are thinking of changing a job so it will need um and you're thinking of you know in, going to a higher level you know if you are looking at promotion it will happen you know but you'll need to make the right decisions and you'll need to be patient for that and then good news will follow then we have the star the star is the card of healing rebirth renewal so okay it's making sense with this now and with this card be the bus driver and queen of cups that you have been thinking about one thing if you actually you know try to divert your mind then there will be like i said transformation your life there will be a transformation in your life and the star there will be a renewal there will be a rebirth you know uh, for you let's find if we have got more messages some of you have been working really really hard towards something and maybe you guys are feeling you know i am putting my hard work in it i am doing everything but nothing is happening it is happening it is happening in the background but you are not able to see it yet but you will definitely see it and it will definitely come to fruition okay so these two cards just fell down i'm going to take that 10 of cups and the emperor i'm feeling for some of you this is actually this reading is actually about love life and for some of you i'm feeling that you guys are looking for the right person or looking to get married so and this is going on in your mind for a long time now you have been thinking about it for a long time now it's not that you like um i think you are stressing over stressing this you don't need to stress but you are over stressing if you change your thoughts you know if you change your thoughts if you change them into positive thoughts you will definitely as i said have um new opportunities new love proposals you know and can you see this card 10 of cups card of completion a happy family and we have 10 two times here 
yeah we have 10 two times so maybe number 10 is of importance to you or yes then the other card that we had is the emperor so emperor is a um, very um, structured person and um, I'm feeling that if you you need to bring some structures some organization to your life and um, things will change for better so you know when I said it will strong your when you change your thoughts your life will transform into positive life and this is number 10 okay car of transformation wheel of fortune and this is number 10 happy ending so this matches so yes i'm feeling uh pile one that you need to let go of the thoughts let go of the emotions not all the emotions you know just the emotions that are not serving you just let go of them uh what i do is sometimes if i you know get attached to something like an emotion or um, you know something i uh, try to meditate and I cannot meditate on my own, so I have to have guided meditations on YouTube. So I use them and it makes me feel better. It actually makes me feel better. Now I'm actually going to get some angel messages card. And let's see what messages do we have from the angels for you guys. Okay, this has come. Hmm. Compromise. Can you see that card? So I am feeling for some of you, you would need to compromise to get what you want. Maybe I'm feeling, and it's not necessary that compromising is a bad thing. No, compromising doesn't have to be a bad thing. So let's let's get another card and see what comes up. Okay. Okay, I got two cards. I was supposed to get remain positive and the other one is recovery so okay let's start with compromise okay have a look at this card and look at the lady's face here she's holding you know scales and she is looking happy she is happy look at the smile on her face she is happy so this card is telling you that if you compromise you know, uh, sometimes what happens is we set our expectations very high for something. So for some of us, you know, uh, for some of you, you might be thinking that, you know, oh, I just want uh, like um, a very successful lawyer as, as my partner. So maybe you'll need to compromise here that, you know, okay, you can say I, I want my partner to be a lawyer, you know. So there might be like uh, some sort of compromises, but these compromises will not make you sad. Then second is remain positive. Like I said to you uh, already that you need to um, let go of the uh, negative emotions, let go of the emotions that are not serving you. You need to let go of them and then your life will transform into a better life. And then we have a card of recovery. and recovery can we can relate this card to the star which means renewal rebirth so all of this for all is all of this to happen all of this to happen you will need to be positive let go of the negative thoughts and emotions and change your perspective you know from a negative one to a positive one and then see your life change 
and i am feeling that you will be able to manifest whatever you are thinking of in in the next year if you're thinking of uh, you know moving to a different moving to a new uh, job or you know um getting a promotion if you change your thoughts you will get that if you're thinking of traveling overseas you know change your perception change your change your thoughts to positive you will get that if you're thinking of um you know getting married or being in a relationship being in a stable relationship change your thoughts you will manifest that and for few of you who are uh, planning to get pregnant again change your thoughts be positive stay positive just tell positive things to your mind you know if if um, there is a um uh, thought that comes to your mind oh i don't know if i'll ever get pregnant do not think that don't doubt okay because when you start doubting then it it gets hard for you to manifest what you want to get so if you are trying to get pregnant just just say to yourself just you know tell it to your mind i'm going to get pregnant soon i am you know i'm going to i'm going to get pregnant soon or instead of saying that just say oh i'm pregnant i am pregnant you know so just be positive and whatever you think you want i'm i'm sure that you will get that in your life in the next year but just it would be um again i will read this to you be the bus driver give the negative voice inside your head a personality imagine what they are wearing and the color of their hair imagine their name voice and personality imagine yourself as the bus driver now tell that person to get off your bus so all those negative emotions just tell them to you know go away from you i really hope this resonated with you if it did resonate do let me know and if you want a uh, in depth personal reading uh, feel free to reach me either on my email address in the description box below or there is a link to my etsy website you can go and buy the reading there and i'll be happy to read you till then all the very best welcome pile 2 for those of you who have chosen this beautiful aqua color or turquoise color card this reading is for you and we are reading how is 2022 going to be for you so first of all i'll just start with the um reading the message here it says learn sorry learn from failure if you don't make mistakes you're not trying hard enough if you're not trying hard enough you're not learning if you're not learning you're not growing if you're not growing you're not confident so make mistakes guess what you're not the only one okay so i am feeling for some of you you are very much guarded you are taking each step you know with um caution i'm 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 getting this word caution you're using a lot of caution and whatever you want to do you are not doing it with your open heart you are scared somewhere so what the card says is learn from your failure don't be scared to fail don't be afraid to fail because if you don't fail you don't learn and if you don't learn you don't grow and if you don't grow you don't get success so this is uh, what we have got from the inspirational um cards let's see what the tarot card says about next year for you Okay. 
pile two. Let's start with your reading. So the first card we have got is uh, four of wands. So four of wands signify it is a card of marriage. For some of you, I am feeling you will be getting married or you're thinking of getting married next year. Uh, four of wands is also a card of happy, uh, being happy in a relationship. So I'm feeling that if you are single you will find somebody um you will you will be in a relationship you will be in a happy relationship i am feeling um that some of you have been contemplating about something for a while now and um i'm getting you know with this four of cups i'm getting that you are actually kind of you're not happy you're not completely happy and uh, if you can see there are three cups here this person is not looking at these cups and he's just sitting with his hands folded and there is a divine cup coming here the divine is giving this man a cup but he is you know sitting with his hands folded so for some of you i'm feeling that you are um, very upset stressed you're not happy like you're not happy at whatever you're not happy with whatever you have achieved i'm feeling i'm, I'm getting this you're not happy with whatever you have achieved or whatever you are achieving or whatever you are doing. You're not happy with that. You want to do something different. And that's what I was th saying that you were, uh, you have been contemplating for a while. I'm feeling that um, for some of you, it is related to um, career, that you guys are not happy with the career that you are in. And I'm also feeling in a relation, if you are in a relationship, you might be feeling bored or you might be feeling left alone. You might, you're not like completely happy in your relationship if you are already in a relationship. Then uh, there is a six of pentacles. Six of pentacles talks about um, equal give and take so i am feeling the reason you guys are not happy in the relationship if you are in a relationship is that there is not equal give and take maybe you are thinking you are giving too much and you're you know you're receiving very little or the other person your partner is thinking that they are doing everything and you're not giving them time or you know you're not there for them so it can be that and this can bring and this can this is actually bringing a lot of burden and stress to you and it is tiring you up as well i'm feeling it is yeah it's tiring you up and i am feeling number four we have got number four three times we have got uh, four of wands the emperor and four of cups so we have got number four three times so number four might be of importance to you then we have king of cups king of cups King of Cups talks about um, that this person here, can you see? This is a mature, compassionate male. You know, he's looking very calm. He's very caring, friendly, family oriented, easygoing. So I am feeling that for some of you, you will be, your focus will be the family. Your focus will be family yes you will be uh, yes i'm getting this for for most of you the focus next year will be on your family yes let me get another card for the people who are single um they will find somebody with uh, the characteristics of this person very calm caring nurturing not nurturing but very calm caring compassionate um commit committed committed you know they are they are not the ones who will just be there for you just you know uh, for the time being and then they if they are there they will they will commit they will be committed in the relationship they are also good you know counselors 
and uh, for some of you i'm feeling that you are maybe you are a you are too much organized structured and you you are a bit stubborn i'm feeling or it's the other way around and this is actually giving you stress in the relationship i am feeling Okay, I'm getting another nine of, I've got another cups card, nine of cups. So I'm feeling that you are thinking, I'm feeling that some of you are being really practical. You know, you have got your emotions up there. They're all behind you and you are being really practical. I'm feeling that uh, the cards are telling you to be a bit more emotional and um a bit more softer with this card as well it's telling you to be a bit more calmer a bit more softer compassionate being compassionate Okay, for some of you, I'm feeling that you guys are feeling stuck at the moment. In whatever situation you are, you guys are feeling stuck. You're feeling as if you're not, if you're single, you're feeling stuck that, you know, you're not able to find somebody or there is nobody in your life. If you're in a relationship, you're feeling stuck, stuck, uh, stuck because the relationship is not going, you know, in a really happy way. If you are in a career, you're not, you're feeling stuck because you, you're not happy with whatever, with what you're doing, you want to do something different. Then we have um, Page of Wands. So Page of Wands still talks about good news. You know, um, it talks about word of mouth. I'm feeling for you, for, for, uh, for, you, for the people who are thinking about career, word of mouth is really important for you so if i would suggest that whoever you know if you're trying to get a promotion and if you know people you know people um word of mouth will be really good for you this also means that you're full of energy and you got you've got free thinking and um you're confident and you're extrovert so i am feeling this you know um i'm i'm getting this card as an advice card that you need to be extrovert you need to be friendly you need to have you need to have free thinking you know free with free thinking uh, this comes into my mind learning learn from um failure because if you if you think if you confine your thinking into you know you know if you confine your thinking you will not learn you won't make any mistakes and you won't learn because if you don't make mistakes you don't learn so with this um card um um this page of um page of um wants sorry you uh, this card is telling you to think freely and be be energetic right now i'm feeling this you know with this card you're just sitting no energy low energy you know no enthusiasm no no you know um want of doing anything so page of want suggests that you need to be energetic you need to go out there talk to people you know uh, you know try to find people um who who can be helpful to you so that you know you can use word of mouth you know they can help you and um yes this is what i'm feeling for you guys i think this is uh, this is for the this is for career and also for your you know if you are in a relationship and not happy i definitely think that you should think outside the box 
you know, to make your relationship better. It's not always about um, just saying, I love you, you know, uh, or uh, I am sorry, or I miss you. It's not that, it's just, it's those little things, you know, um, you know, you can help your partner with cooking, or you can ask your partner if they need any help. You can help your partner with, uh, with the housework. You can, you know, just randomly text or call your partner while they're at work and ask them how they're doing, how's their day been going. So just think something different, like, you know, go outside the box and see what can bring the spice back into your life. You know, be energetic, be energetic. Right now, it's like I'm feeling for most of you, the relationship is very monotonous. So you need to do something different. You need to do something different so that you, you know, because um, Page of Wands is a fiery energy as well. So you need to be energetic is what I'm feeling. Overall, I'm feeling this year, if you do things differently, if you think outside the box and if you think you know if you um, try to be a good talker and if you try to um, what should I say if you if you go out and get social be social it's going to be a really good year for you and also for the people who are single you need to be social you need to go out hang out with people so that you meet other people and you know you never know you might be uh, find your better half there so yeah that's for you see this is the shadow card that has come three of cups i was talking about hanging out socializing celebrating going out with the friends this card also says the same thing so yes and let's see what the angel messages are for you Okay, the first card that I've got is listen to your intuition. How will you listen to your intuition? If you think freely, if your intuition says something, do it. Don't be scared. Don't be, don't be afraid of making a mistake because like we have read in the card, you don't make mistake, you don't learn, you don't learn, you don't grow, you don't grow, you don't get successful. So listen to your intuition. And the second card is big happy changes so i definitely feel like i said that if you um change how you are thinking right now if you change your thinking it will be really awesome look at this girl enjoying and so happy look at this girl you can be the same all you have to do is change your thinking listen to your intuition be energetic socialize go out Think outside the box, you know, and don't be scared of um, making mistakes. So I hope this resonates with you. And I really hope that um, it gave you a kind of clarity, some, you know, guidance about next year. And if you would like a personal in-depth reading uh, with me, don't, you know, you can just um, contact me on the email address in the description box below, or you can go on etsy there is a link in the description box and uh, you can book your reading there and i'll be happy to read you but in the meanwhile i wish you all the very best hello pile three so if you guys have chosen this blue card this reading is for you and we are reading house 22 going to be for you guys so let's start with the card take a problem on a walk Interruptions at home or work can make it hard to nail down a problem. Take your problem on a walk with you. Moving your body will complement your mental efforts and the change in perspective may trigger your subconscious to deliver a solution. Hmm. So maybe you are trying to sort a problem and you're not able to sort it because at home there are so many distractions. So the, the card is suggesting you to go for a walk or take time out from you know from home and think about it there and you will be able to find solutions for that okay let's see what the tarot cards have to say for you yeah 
Okay, so I feel that for you guys next year, you might feel a bit confused in the starting. Initially, you might feel a bit confused. You might feel you don't have a direction. You might feel that you don't know what to do. You don't know where you're going, but you're working hard. You're working hard, but it's, it's not satisfying you and you're not, you're very confused. Um, in the first uh, first initially initially but then we have the magician and the magician as you can see there are a cup there is a cup there is a pentacle there is a sword and there is a wand and there is a sign of infinity on his head that is he this person is connected to the divine so you will be initially confused but then you will have all the tools um you know to work things out you you will know how to talk talk to somebody you know if if you are say in a let's take an example of career if you are in a uh, career if you are in a sort of career where you have to be a good negotiator you know you will be able to do that you'll be a really good communicator next year a really good negotiator and you'll be able to manipulate people as well not in a bad way though not in a bad way but you'll be able to manipulate people you'll be able to communicate so well and you'll be able to be negotiate really well and you will you will get what you'll want you will you will get what you desire then we have knight of swords so knight of swords is there might be some uh, conflict on the way there might be some conflicts on the way and uh, i'm feeling that it is obvious that if you are you know um in any any place like in any any um, area of life love career um health there are conflicts so there will be conflicts there will be conflicts but you will be so uh, full of energy and you'll be so energetic to you know reach towards your goal you'll be really um i'm feeling like i'm getting that energy you are really you'll be really energetic next year and you know well um it can also make you a bit aggressive so be mindful of that um then there will be few things we have a death card there will be there will be something that is not serving you that will end and a new um cycle will start so an old negative cycle will end and a new positive cycle will begin so i actually don't see death card as a bad card i see it as a transformation card then we have ace of pentacles so ace of pentacles is a really good card you'll be um you'll there will there will be new beginnings there will be new um, financial opportunities, new business, new jobs for you. You know, if you're if you're thinking of um, changing career, you'll be able to do that. If you if you are uh, looking at a promotion, you'll be able to. You know, you will be get promoted. Money will be good for you next year for most of you because we have a King of Pentacles as well. So this King is abundant with the money. You know, if you can see, he's got you know all the plants and money on his so he there is abundance of everything abundance of everything um you know this king has abundance of everything so i am seeing this as um okay let me take some cards take some more cards Okay, so we have King of Cups. We have King of Pentacles. So if you are a king, it's obvious that you have 
everything you know who is a king king has everything so i'm feeling that you'll be in sorry about that noise i think you will be in in an authoritative position um you'll have people working under you if you are not uh, like in that position right now if you are a team member or something i am feeling that um you will be promoted and in the sense of uh, relationships i am feeling that if some of you are trying to um you know um get into a relationship or i think it might just feel a bit um hard in the starting if you're single but you'll find somebody very good very compassionate very caring and very um a committed person you will get that sort of a person we also have ace of swords so ace of swords is all about victory success mental clarity breakthrough you know i'm feeling with this card here when you are struggling initially this will actually give you a lot of um important lessons that you'll learn a lot of important lessons while while struggling which will give you mental uh, breakthrough mental clarity you know you'll be able to make correct decisions you will you will have a great vision that in turn will help you in being you know a good um communicator a good negotiator a good manipulator and you will be able to and then you'll be able to end your old cycles and then move um start your new positive cycles and then you'll be a king this is what i'm feeling for you guys that next next year is going to be really good it's not only about career it's about love as well and health as well maybe for health initially you might be feeling a bit you know you might have some issues health issues but then as the year will progress you will be feeling better and if some of you are you know are in depression or stressed i think you will get with this card you will definitely get mental clarity you'll get a breakthrough and you'll be able to you know do that you'll be able to breathe um i'm not saying breathe as in literally but you'll be able to you know get those things out of your mind you know as because the old cycles will be ending the negativity the negative pattern will be ending and the positive one will be starting so this is what i'm feeling for you guys and if you are in a relationship it will be it might again in the in initially it might be a bit of a struggle but with mental clarity with you know if you are having uh, issues with your partner don't give up only thing here i want to tell you guys is do not give up if you think you know if you'll feel when you'll feel that you're struggling and you know what i don't know what to do where to go don't give up because if you give up then all of this will not happen if you give up then you will not learn from your mistakes and you will not learn you will not get that mental clarity you would you will not have that breakthrough so do not give up because if you don't give up you will achieve what you want to achieve in any phase of your life look at that last card beautiful ace of wands ace of wands is good news physically starting something creative if you want to start something creative you know this is a good card for you you uh, some of you might find um, new passion it's a it's a card of growth it's a card of fertility it's a card of birth so if you if any one of you are trying to get pregnant um there are very high chances that you will get pregnant and if you want to stay you know if you want to change your career path you can do that you, there is a very good there is a high there are high chances that you will succeed in that um you know and um creativity is uh if you want to start something creative that 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 is also will be a very good idea there will be a lot of excitement as well for you guys so this is what we have got and i don't know i'm prompted to take this card as well uh, second last card this is a three this is three of wands and three of wands talks about travel so if any one of you are thinking of traveling um you'll be able to successfully do that 
thinking of traveling, moving, moving houses, uh, moving cities, moving, moving countries, you'll be able to do that. Let's see what the angel answers cards tells us. Hmm. Take one more, please. Thank you. Oops. I did it again. Thank you. I'll take this. Two came. All right. I'll take two. So the first card we have got is trust. So like I said, with this seven of uh, wands, if you think you are struggling, I don't know where to do, where to go, what to do, and I want to give up, do not give up. Trust in yourself. Trust in the process. Okay. Then we have a card of success. And we have it's up to you. So if you trust, if you, if you keep on trusting yourself, if you trust the process, you will be successful and the angels are saying it's up to you to be successful it's up to you to trust it's up to you to not give up it's up to you to just go with it and you know learn and yeah so i'm seeing a very good year for you if you want an in-depth uh, personal reading feel free to reach me at the email address it's in the description box below or you can go and um book your reading personal reading on etsy website there is a link for my etsy website here as well and i really really hope that this resonated with you guys and it kind of gave you some clarity for the new year and uh, yes until then i would like to wish you all the best and all the best